When it comes to congestion pricing, much focus has been on the financial implications, but there are also environmental concerns. As CBS News' Christina Fan reports, today a bipartisan group of lawmakers urged the governor to rethink her position. London is supposed to be the shining beacon of congestion pricing success, but New York City Council Minority Leader Joe Borelli questioned that Monday. Look at the headlines. Sharing one scathing article after another. Nothing says success in a vibrant public transit system uh, as London's buses moving slower than mice and chickens. This is what we have to look forward to, thanks to Governor Kathy Hochul. A group of 20 bipartisan legislators sent a five page letter to the governor, calling on her to withdraw support from implementing congestion pricing here, arguing it will harm low income outer borough residents. They cited findings from the MTA's own environmental assessment. Assessment. Those are the people we're saying, and almost proud to be saying, are going to pay for the privilege of certain people in Lower Manhattan to have some perception that there's less traffic. The study found motorists detouring new tolls could add traffic to parts of the Bronx, Staten Island, and Bergen County, New Jersey. In every tolling scenario, the Cross Bronx, for example, would see even more cars and trucks on its already congested roads. It's a mess most of the time, yeah, both ways. I feel like they're focused on the city more than, you know, Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens. The study also found the same areas would likely see an increase in atmospheric pollutants. Last month at a press conference about the LAWR, Governor Hochul addressed those concerns. Their voices are not uh, in the wilderness. We're paying very much attention to the issues they're raising, and now that's on our plate to address. The governor's office declined to issue any new response today. Hochul previously said she is not reconsidering her position. In Midtown Manhattan, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News.